and we're back for another episode of the Owner Operator Series here in American Truck Simulator. Ready to roll. Picking up where we left off, we are not going to grab a load from Rustic here in Grangeville. We are going to head to the nearest rest stop. Take our much needed break, and then we'll pick up a load after we can start our shift again. Pretty cool. Tree went down. All right, we have 39 minutes to get to where we're going, and it's an hour drive. Something important to remember: the time's all screwed up since the the game has a speed limit at 50. We're going to try not to make any more of these deliveries. because it really screws up our, uh, really all of our finances and our gameplay. So hopefully we can get down the hill without falling asleep. Yeah, without beating this truck up. Safe to say anything that says rustic on it, we will not make, be making a delivery there anymore. Because the last job was pretty much free due to some technical issues we had, but also due to the, this uh, dealing with this the speed limit on the driveways multiple times. bad if uh, if this place had a stop like a rest area but it did not so get ready to turn right let's take our chances turn right before we get a ticket. I 
think with how far we need to go, we should be able to get there before we actually pass out. But not a situation we want to find ourselves in. So going forward, we're going to remember to cut Rustic out because all of the uh, access points to the delivery spot are not timed properly. to the mod, I did add back in the ATS Get ready to uh, AI traffic mod. I figure we'll give it another shot. Turn left. If we have issues with it, then I'll take it back out. mod should benefit us right now because it there should be less traffic with it being nighttime. Turn left. take a rest. See, this would be the 8th of March. Alright, see what jobs are available. Look at the job market. Uh, when the GDC the, um, shoot, uh, dispatcher becomes an option we will be venturing into that so we have a couple options here we can pick up a load out of Grangeville which is really some broccoli or firewood up in Canada or we can go over to Lewiston There we go. Or we can go to Lewiston and pick up a load out of here. 
probably gonna stay away from doubles for a while. That one don't pay enough anyways. Really none of these pay great. Let's see, could do one of these. Or I could do broccoli. See, that says 23 hours. You know what? We'll do this one. So we will deliver. Let's see, we're going to pick up. Broccoli. And what I'm doing in the background here is I'm uh, keeping track of what day we're on and uh, what our start miles will be and the cost of the trip. We should be able to make this trip without having to stop for fuel, I think. So. Drive safe. Uh, we will keep track of our miles once we pick up the cargo so until then we're not going to worry about it Recomputing. So there should be a lot more traffic out now Pick up this load, I may have to adjust the brake sensitivity just a hair. going to start making our way back to the Midwest for the time being. We may end up venturing up towards Canada just to see what it's like, depending on what routes are available. Um, we are going to try and plan it. We're going to try to plan our routes out best uh, dollar per mile in most cases so as I mentioned in the last video getting fuel here on the west coast is super expensive and uh The aspect of money has been a little tight. Uh, the last load we ended up, I had a software issue with my head tracker. Uh, it took me a couple days to get it figured out and I ended up missing the, the real time deadline for making the delivery. So that cost nearly half of what the uh, cost was. for the delivery and then uh, the other half was actually fuel so I did the math again 
uh, when I was putting everything into a spreadsheet and we ended up netting like a negative 30 something dollars so hoping for better luck with this delivery we'll see Grangeville. Get ready to turn left. Seems like a pretty chill small town. Turn left. Turn left. This would be us. pick up our load. Broccoli, that is us. Maybe. I've got this uh, trucky mod and things kind of take a minute to load and also the <laughs> the trucky the bar below is not adequate not correct so not really a big fan of the Trucky app. I can't really say it's been a big help. Um, I am going to look for a different navigation screen. But, yeah, not a big fan of the Trucky app. Seems like it only works half the time. I've had quite a few issues with it, so could be me, but so far not a fan. too far over. Again, we are using the advanced trailer coupler, so you pretty much have to be dead nuts on it. This should be good, though. And I was wrong. God, Burr's probably like, what the hell is this guy doing? Tell you when I find out. There we go. Okay, here we go. I give it a tug test. Okay, tug test. We're gonna look at the miles. We are at nine twenty-five ninety-nine.
All right, let's get to it. See a feather coming. I've been kind of slacking on the videos. I'm going to try. Get back more into it. I've just been busy with work. Um, I have not been on Twitch at all in like almost two weeks. So if you want to see me on Twitch, you're gonna have to uh, suffice for these YouTube videos at the moment, just because um, my timing's kind of all over the place. Uh, once I get, once I figure out how to do some YouTube live videos, I might live stream the halls that we're putting up on YouTube, which now we're doing just about every trip is making YouTube. So, but for the time being, these videos are it. I'm going to try to crank three or four out a week. So that's three or four deliveries, more than likely. Plan on doing one delivery per video. Try to keep them within an hour. Get ready to turn right. Yeah, remember, I want to adjust my brake right. sensitivity. Pedals are a little touchy. Not a problem. Come down here. We'll go to gameplay. And right over here. Brake sensitivity. Uh, we'll turn it down. Try 68. But yeah, with the. Uh, with the addition in videos, I'm hoping I would like us to have a uh, our own trailer here in about a week. That is the goal. If we can net a thousand dollars a day, I feel like that's not out of the realm of impossibility. Kind of want to stay away from loans, but if we must, we must.
pretty curious to see what fuel prices are like in Canada. I would imagine they're probably expensive. Getting out of here is not going to be fun. Yep. It's only a bad thing about driving during the day. You have all this traffic. Four cars wait. We gotta wait on. It's clear for days if y'all hurry up. nice that that lane there is for traffic turning in, merging in. I say yes, he is. Has been more. Uh, Keep right, and then exit right. It's the right word. They've been very vocal exit about right. Arkansas and uh, Nebraska here lately. So, lots of previews and insight into the new states. No release date, uh, date as of now. Today is February 29th, so as of now, no release date. Uh, I'm hoping, I was hoping it'd be by the end of Q1, at least get one of them. But of course, we will not enable those DLCs until Coast to Coast and everything is updated to line up with it. That way we don't crash the game. But I imagine it won't it won't take long. So yeah, hopefully we have more states coming soon.
single lane road. So we're going to have enough fuel to get to uh, the town is called Winatachi. Winachi? I don't know. Winachi? If I'm saying that wrong, someone feel free to let me know. Winachi, Washington. So when we get there, um, <laughs> we're gonna have to get fuel. So uh, it's gonna suck. The Truckee app is telling us we have 410 miles worth Go of fuel. On. So I mean, we're gonna have roughly 180 miles of fuel in the tank. But. kind of be putting us close on the I don't like getting below a quarter tank so not good getting the best fuel mileage on the west coast either. Lots of hills. Um, traffic has been so-so. And now the traffic mods are probably going to change out a bit. So... Let's go ahead and pause right here. Go ahead and take our snapshot for the video. Maybe. I'm thinking big red barn, big red tractor. What's not to like? Might use that one. Awesome looking barn.
they go lake to our right. Lots of boat storage. Go straight on. Queer de Aline. Arlene. Don't know if I said that right at all. Probably butchered it. One of the many things I'm good at. <laughs> Butchering names. So if you're from here, my bad. Korea Dealing. That's kind of what I'm saying. Anywho, we're about four hours away from our drop. Which means we might be able to get another delivery in before our next rest stop. Or at least get a good way through one, so that would be nice. We gotta keep this money train rolling. say it'll be nice to hop on the I-90, but we ain't gonna be on it long. We gotta get on Highway 82 at some point. Go oh, straight man. on. With this load, we've gotten 5.3 miles a gallon. And since our last fuel stop, we've gotten 4.6. So the heavy machinery will weigh you down, though.
left. state. gonna merge and not just sideswipe us. Keep Always right gotta wander. Right. Especially with the AI mod, you don't know if exit right. they're actually gonna think like a human or Gas Buddy app on my phone. Because I know when we have to stop, it's going to be a expensive.
have straight have fingers. On. I was just thinking about how fortunate we were because we didn't have to stop. Jinx myself on that one. Okay, let's find a new route. but they ain't mad at us so get ready to turn right turn right sharp curve there.
running on time. Yeah. We're going to have three hours to our next rest. Not really as much time as I thought. We're going to go ahead and finish out this delivery, though, without getting a rest or fuel. But we will have to take them in the next delivery. get a good look at what the price of fuel is. Well, I don't see a sign anymore. fuel is here. It look like four ninety two. Five seventeen. Screw it. I'll just go ahead and get it. So in our logbook, we do have to write down fuel. Let's see, we got 517 a gallon, 218.22 gallons, which equals a total price of eleven hundred twenty nine dollars 
So we didn't make nothing on this drive. <laughs> we did not make a single dime. No profit out of this. Because we had to get fuel. So. And then uh, looking at... Mileage is going to be nine two zero. Is that nine five seven? So yeah, awesome. That's gonna hurt. Yep. We just cannot, like, we have not picked up a good freight in a while. But we were going to need fuel anyway, so I'm not really sure it matters when or where, but still sucks <laughs> all right we made it to Wenatchee or if it's like a Native American name Doesn't Get sound German. Turn right. Turn right. this okay as soon as we get parked I'll finish filling out my logbook and I'll tell you guys what my logbook consists of here in a second I kind of realized some areas that I needed to add today so I'm gonna try to make it as 
as lifelike as pros uh, possible. That way, uh, it'll just be full detail about all of our shipments. That way we can track where we've been, miles we've driven, do a fuel consumption chart if needed. Whole nine yards. Hazards on. Okay. far we are. Oh yeah, we're way off. <laughs> I don't know what I did. Definitely undershot that. I have a hard time just watching the mirrors. Just gonna take practice, I suppose. Still a little ways off. Because I do want to try to square it up with the door. So, truck and trailer are in a line. Trailer inward and uh, yeah, I'm we ain't gonna leave it like that. Some of these I'm not too bad at, but this location, man, buildings that are set up like this, I'm not the best at. Still way off of the door. Truck don't sound bad though.
kind of sucking at this tonight. So we'll give it one more try. on the dock. You know what? Green means they're happy, which means we're happy. Let's get paid. Not straight at all, but it is what it is. Alright, so we went to... Wenatchee. Washington. Alright, so basically I'm keeping track of miles start, miles finished, which I didn't write there. I didn't write that down. Um, basically our expenses, fuel, repairs, money made. So we ended up getting 986 bucks. And I pretty much keep track of where we're going, where we've been, uh, the weight of the load. That's really it. I mean, really, it's got to do with fuel, load, um, and we'll, we'll be able to keep track of... This will be the first load where I'm actually paying attention, you know, putting in our logbook. I were delivered from and to, but my hope is that we'll be able to look at our logbook and see at which region or which area we've been more profitable So, if we look at company job offers, there's a load to Everett for 394 bucks, and we can go to Fresno for two grand. Yeah, I don't know about that. If we look and see in the job market what's available to us at the moment, that's really about it. <laughs> That sucks. If we look at external contracts, there's probably going to be a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, we've got tractors, sprayers, crawlers. I mean, there's some stuff available. But honestly, I think we're going to stay away from all that. And just kind of go with what we got. So, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys for following along. As of today, we have... We're up to 61 subscribers, so that's awesome. Seems like almost every day we're gaining uh, one or two new members. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I do plan on making a, another video tomorrow, so I'll try to get another one uploaded, and hopefully we can recuperate some of the cash we've lost, because uh, let's see if we can show... I wish there was a tab we'd click on that would show our profit. If we look at Garage Manager, I mean, that says our profit's a thousand bucks. I'm not really seeing it, but. Let's see, Economy Summary. Yeah, so. I'm making a thousand bucks. It's not awful, but we need more. Because I really, really want to be able to purchase a trailer and I'm thinking we're going to stay away from modded trailers for a while because them things are expensive but I'm thinking we're either going to do a drop deck or a low boy 
probably a low boy. So I'd like to have, I'd like to get around 50 grand. So anyways, that'll do it. Thanks you guys for following along. Until next time, I'll catch you in a lane. See ya.